The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one. Sink, sink. in the bathtub. Hello, everybody, and welcome to TTV episode 156. Mardi Gras. Thank you. Nice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We did it. Yes. We did nice. it. This is like a double running joke. It's like there's the Mardi Gras joke, and then there's the let's pat ourselves on the back end or yell at people for saying it at the right or wrong time. <laughs> Depending on what mood we're in, it's going to be like, it, oh, no, yeah, it depends yeah. on when they say it. If they say it before the number, then we yell. If they say it after the number, then we congratulate them. Yeah, I know. I know you're right. It was like every week. <laughs> you know, we could avoid this all entirely by just not doing it. Whoa. You know what? You're just a fun killer. Yeah, you're, like, you're really. a home wrecker. I just didn't, no, I just didn't get enough unpopular opinions during the relationship. You don't tell anybody to call. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna get the oh, oh, Okay, anyway. You know, I've good. always wondered how different our episodes would be if, if like Messo's camera had died the day he went to Mardi Gras and he just didn't do that video. I know, right? <laughs> Hello, I uh, wanted to be welcome fun. to my camera. camera had be so way long less long running joke we've had. We and would be out a whole lot of money because we wouldn't be selling shirts. <laughs> well, yeah, we do have a shirt with Mardi Gras. We do have a shirt for Mardi Gras. I remember the shirts. You can get a TTV t-shirt at store.tvpodcast.com. Did you guys Before actually we move put on that too one far into this oh, yeah, episode? I want to remind everybody that this episode is up on Vessel, and you can watch all of our episodes in Vessel as they release on the channel. And a week watching before they release the channel, yeah. So, um, yep. That's pretty well done. If you don't want that delay, you want all, all the discussion to be timely with all the news, then if you're watching it on, on YouTube, go check at out vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel. Yeah. Yay. And, uh, can you stop trying to plug during my plug because all it does is your make plug, a colored mess. Your plug didn't plug have all the necessary in. info. Also, yeah, audible. See, I would nice. get to the necessary info if you just let me finish, but you just keep interrupting my plug, so it just sounds like a garbled mess of a plug of two different people saying completely different things. What? What if we tried corks? Like what? Put a, put a cork in Meso or something so he doesn't speak. That sounds pretty yeah. good to me. Okay, sure. Because I don't like a of a perfectly good cork. So what I was saying about Mardi Gras, we could I just like slit his throat or something. Check I say, oh, no one would even care, dude. Directly in the jugular. About what we were gonna do if someone died during a podcast? Oh, call back. Oh, jeez. Oh, we can like do what we used to do back in the day and have like a mesobot. We didn't have a mess about. We had an LJ bot. No, it'd probably be like that movie. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bot? It doesn't matter who the bot was, Messo. The point was that we had a bot back in the day, and we can do that now, you freaking idiot. Come on. You know, that's funny that you said that, Messo, because I was just thinking as he said that, you know, that's a correction I would make. Yeah. And then I'd get yelled at for it. Yeah, but I it's didn't not, it's not even a correction. I know we had an LJ bot. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't the point. Listen. I know you knew. That's why I didn't say anything. Listen, Shut up, LJ. our fans <laughs> probably don't know what you're even referring to. I don't even know how we can know what a mess about is when we don't know who Meso is. All right, well, let's go ahead and get our introductions out of the way. I'm Meso Day. Uh, I'm Rodoran. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. I'm Venom. I'm Viper. I'm Takuma. And we have pretty much everybody here but X. And also, this is TTV 156. Mardi Gras. My Yay. goodness, that was just so... Oh, man, that was great. That was so, great. It Tops. kills me not to know this. Yeah, well. It but I all just, but just forgotten. forgotten. It kills me that you guys always say Mardi Gras when I say <laughs> the, the episode title number, the but thankfully were. that's not a thing. So the scars are how you got, got them. No copyrighted music. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> how's everybody's week been? Ah, exhausting, 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 exhausting. Dude, oh, tell me you about it. I've had a very busy man. week. It's been exhausting for me. Wow, okay, you, one you at a time. You guys have had busy weeks? Well, Kahi, I bet you have, but Ven. Yeah. You. What about you, me? How do you know what his week was like? You're, like, incredulous. Have, well, what have you been doing, Ven? I want to know this. Mm. Why uh, do you care so much? Jeez. This, uh, yeah, Just that kind of makes me a little uncomfortable. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing then? Or, I'm sorry, then. Is, or is it pronounced uncomfortable doing, because of the way I it's really spelled? Good question. Comfortable. Uncomfortable. 
Just I would imagine it's proper me. uncomfortable, but people just say uncomfortable. It's like a slang. Vin, like, tell me. Wait, so Vin really gets a way of saying weird things? It's pronounced that way, but anyway. Well, because it's how it's pronounced. <clears throat> All right. Whose week are we talking about first? Yours, Just Vin. talking about mine? Tell okay. <laughs> um, tell us. Your week, Vin. Let's see. <laughs> I wonder who would be good cop and bad cop in this call. Everyone um, would be bad cop, and then like... Yeah, and then there is no good cop. cop. We're all <laughs> yeah. bad cop. We're constantly angry cop. We're fluctuating morality cop. Are you going to tell your story, Vin? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. It's a joker. So, Sunday, let's see. Sunday, Sunday, uh, Sunday. No, this is going to be a <laughs> long story. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Oh, yeah. Are we ever going to get through the story? Or is it going to be like five minutes of prep? <laughs> you know what? That's... Yeah, no, forget it. We need to get to a story. So I moved. No, Elton, I interrupted then. Go on, Vin. Sunday. <laughs> all right, so thanks. So on Sunday, it all started... When I woke up in the morning, got my clothes on, then I went out. No, oh, thank God. <laughs> no. Uh, I'll, let me try to put the this in the, very, the, in the shortest way possible. So on Sunday, I went out to what was supposed to be a barbecue with a couple of friends. Turns out it was actually, um, well, I mean, a it was a hangout. A couple friends. It was a hangout day, but um, it was kind of a, like, surprise. So we went to one of my friends' house, and then he um, greets someone at the door and he comes back into the room and he's like, "Hey guys, I got a surprise for you." Turns out to be one of my best friends I hadn't seen in like seven months. He nice. uh, came back to visit after being gone for that amount I of time. I hate surprises. And so that was nice, and so obviously with him back, that meant that <laughs> we're going to make a bunch of plans with him over the week, and that's what we did. Um, Monday, I had to do rehearsals for uh, something that I don't really feel like explaining right now. Tuesday. What what happened on Tuesday? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. That's so happened? funny. Tuesday, okay, I don't know, know what? what happened on Tuesday, but it was fun. <laughs> it was fun, man. Seriously, not gonna it. lie, Ben. I thought you were gonna say, like, it was one of your exes. But he knocked the door and opened it. It's like, oh, it's my ex-girlfriend. I think I actually I did see years. her, like, around the corner. Oh, did you really? Yeah. yeah. I was walking. I was walking from the car, and I thought I saw her. And it's like, "What? What are you doing in my domain? And you are not allowed here. This is my neighborhood. This is my Stop neighborhood. Get out! I, I pay a dollar ninety nine a year I for saw this so domain. Many north of the wall. Nice. Oh my Stop god! Stop, Stop, Stop stepping on my, my turf. Yeah, get off my domain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I remember what happened Tuesday. Went over to another friend's house, play uh, a little bit of D and D, which took up no, the I entire day, and then got very exhausted. You wouldn't think that a board game would be so exhausting, but when you're really getting into it, yeah. I yeah, wouldn't know. Actually, yes, it's very exhausting. very exhausting. Have you ever played Monopoly? Like, full yeah, time? Yeah, Monopoly for the win. Oh, yeah. yes. Have you ever, yeah, have have you ever played have Monopoly you ever... with the kinds of people who loan each other money so they don't go out of the game and the, it just never ends? The, the yeah, exactly. Indeed, I feel I like it's yeah, a I was about to say, more... like, the better question is, have you ever finished a game of Monopoly? Yes. <laughs> yes. I have finished I have. only, I finished with, only against games. computer opponents. When are you guys... Because they know how to lose. When we start the <laughs> RPG, you'll understand... Because that I think would be we the need to do thing TDV plays D&D. Monopoly with like online no, yes. Monopoly. No. Yes. Continue, Ven. We should do that. Dibs on right. the dog. So on then figure. Wednesday, <laughs> I'm the I'm the cash on the bag of money, man. Oh my gosh, cash money. <laughs> what did I do Wednesday? <laughs> oh yeah, Monique. Wednesday. Um, had a bit of a mini reunion with like, cause uh, it started out as like a typical video game day. Um. But then my friend who had just came back, who had just come back, holy crap, my grammar is off today. Who had just come back, he started to invite a lot of people that he hadn't seen in a while. And some of these people were old friends of mine that I haven't seen in a while either. So it turned into one heck of a reunion that lasted the whole day. Thursday, I did practically nothing. I mean, I I went bike riding for a bit, (laughs) but that was it. So that was kind of like my rest day. Friday... What did I do Friday? Oh yeah, that was yesterday. You got down on Friday. That's what you did. Yeah, the whole Ayo. day. The whole day yesterday I went paintballing. Ew. What? You never heard Rebecca Black's song before? No, we no, we got the reference. Thank, right. thank, thank you, right. thank, thank you, mess no, up. We don't, we don't need a no. sample. No copyrighted music. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, you're the one yelling at us for singing. Yeah. Yeah, that's disgusting. 
Yeah, yesterday so I went paintballing, and that was that was that, and now I'm My recovering. My week has also been super exciting. Oh. oh, really? Did you have a reunion? Yeah, too? on Monday at twelve o'clock, I got up out of bed. On Monday at <laughs> one o'clock, I went to the bathroom. <laughs> on Monday at two o'clock. I went back to bed. Oh, dude, me too. <laughs> no, not really. On Monday at three o'clock, I was still asleep. At Monday at four o'clock, I was still asleep. <laughs> what? This is like on Monday at five o'clock. I got up. On Monday at six o'clock, I started working on product showcase. On Monday at seven o'clock, I gave up working on product showcase and went back to bed. <laughs> what? On Monday at eight o'clock, I was asleep. This on is... Monday at nine o'clock, I was asleep. On Tuesday at 12 o'clock, I woke up. <laughs> Come on, like TTV man. Big Brother, Tuesday at 9 a.m., Va is going hey, to uh, the Viper, bedroom. I'm not done with my story. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Right. That was a Learned story? Some manners. Uh, <laughs> that was like a chronology of your that, week. Yeah, it just sounded like a schedule. Of, of his that, was that was a chronology of like that was the, the no NSA point. logs of what that was Var, looking joke. through Var's webcam. Did you that was a the joke. joke, Takuma. You're a joke. Hey, Whoa. hashtag Metis. Hey, are we gonna actually talk about Bionicle this episode before everyone starts tuning out? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Keyword <laughs> Bionicle. <laughs> are you kidding me? We went through all of that, and we're not actually gonna talk about the interesting week. <laughs> no, <laughs> listen, nah. we'll come back to we're it. Like th- we're like ten minutes in. What are stay, we doing? Stay now? tuned for the TTV <laughs> after show. Man took up the entire time talking about this stupid. Thing. I don't know why we spent the whole time talking like about this. Ka- stupid Kahi thing. and I here. We're sitting here going, "Hello, we changed our house." No one cares so. about you. No Stay tuned yeah, for the no TTV after show no to hear everybody's experience. I don't even care about what I did this Boy, week. So for now, about. keyword Bionicle. So trigger word. This week, got a lot of crazy <laughs> stuff happening. <laughs> Namely, so, the 2016, 2016 sets, sets confirmed. Sets confirmed. Yeah, take that, Meso. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're on Amazon. We got a yes, full list of names. Confirmed. There will be sets for 2016. We got a full list of names minus Kopaka. We got a full list of names. Which, we got uh, thanks to Russ Bionicle Hunter and, and Friends Bionicle. Star Part. Listen, you transitioned this. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you don't want to talk now about that it, the Toa let's go are back. coming back and they are no longer they called masters. They are coming back. Masters. We've got creature sets. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> the Toa are, are now called Uniters. Uniters. I've been on in so, long guys, while. discuss this. Uniters. What does this mean? Yeah, the Uniters, guys. Kopaka. Is gonna be in a Tupac deal. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if I might hear somebody make like a Tupac joke again, I'm gonna like, bundle with him. Because what happened was when we, uh, when we found it, out about say, oh, he might when we found a, out about the two-pack. stuff, uh, he made a you might be able to say that the box then, will be notoriously big. Uh, and then OJ oh, made a Tupac uh, joke, uh, and then like a YouTube yeah, commenter made in the same Tupac direction. What? Oh well. Sorry. Takuma, you need to practice up on your uh, hip hop artist. I don't care about <laughs> hip hop. Okay, just gonna throw this out. You're not I'm very hip or hop. Takuma. at the same time, LGD versus EG. First ban from LGD is Texas. <laughs> Wait, what the heck are you even talking about? Right now? You started We're talking, talking about, about Bionicle, the, and now you're the, talking about I'm LGD. Just saying, they the first TVs. banned Techies. No one okay. cares, so anyway. Dying. Creatures. We were talking about Tupac. Creatures and Uniters. If Tupac something rises from the dead and starts playing Dota, Dude, then Bionicle sucks. Like, no one wants to talk about Flamethrowers. <laughs> Both LJ Dang and songs. Kai made a Tupac joke independent of each other, and then, like, somebody made it in the YouTube comments. Bronze somebody made panties. it on the BSL1 Twitter. It's, are you really, really explaining the, way the you Tupac say joke? We don't need to know about the Tupac yeah. joke. Yeah. I don't even understand. We don't, that's not, not inver- I'm sure care. if people got the joke, they got it. If they didn't get it, they didn't get it. I don't care about the joke. The joke's not funny. the frequency of what I'm hearing. John Someone Cena. Else gets funny. Then they will, they will hear the frequency in our conversation. Guitar. Guitar. Desk. Keyboard. Can we, what are like, we doing with please? our lives? <laughs> I, guess, I, we, I don't we know really what you guys somebody. did to the transition, but you, like, skewered it. <laughs> well, we need someone to grab the wheel and, like, steer this back on track. That was one of the absolute worst things I've Jesus ever heard in my life. Episode. I'm taking <laughs> the reins back. No, I'm no, hey. Okay, so, I gave you guys shut up. a chance. So, like, Bionicle 2016. Uniters. We got creatures for $10, and we got the Toa coming back as Uniters. And we also have the mysterious hunter, Umarak. Now, the biggest thing about this list, obviously, is that we have names. Which, I'll be honest, I did not expect in the least. Not yeah, I know. It, like We got like a whole wave this early on. And set names and numbers and everything. Pretty crazy, huh? You gotta wonder what happened like behind the scenes. 
was it a shift in design policy after they saw how the first wave went, or was that were they always planning on reintroducing names in wave two? Wait, hold on. Are we allowed? A great question. Are we allowed to disclose the names right now? Yeah. Of yeah. Sure. Okay. I don't really remember them yeah, all that well, but I, there was. Uxar. I don't remember them either. Does anyone have a list? I remember Melum. Because I remember Melum. If you want to know the names, check out our channel because we've got a news video on it, and there's a list there. Or check out our website, uh, ttvpodcast.com. We got the list there as well. I found a list. Oh, I found it on ttvpodcast.com. <laughs> awesome. Jeez. There's Ikir, Yuxar, Terak, Melum. Uh, the other two, Akita. The other two. Thanks for reading <laughs> that list, Maso. Akita and Those Kita. Those DLC. Wait, a- a- Akira? Akita. Akita. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really know why. Uh, why we've got names all of a sudden? Like, why is this? I guess they realize that names are okay to have. Yeah. I guess. I just really gotta weird. wonder if this is a last minute thing and like they were initially called Creature of Fire. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, like, I would imagine so. It's like it's, a- I mean it's weird, it's just like I don't know. Because if they were going off this, they could have easily called the protectors like Normoto Protector of Fire. Right. Or it's weird. I don't know why they decided no, to this switch is up a their interesting. marketing strategy. Although I guess some people could say that the protectors also work as a title, like that villagers would call them like an honorary title, but you can't really call these people creature of stone yeah. if they have actual names, but I don't know. I Even know. then, this... I think it might have just been listening to feedback. Maybe they realized that everybody really wanted names. They also really wanted new names, and they're like, alright, Or well, maybe these are... Want, want maybe it's just because these are the only new names being introduced in this wave. Also maybe possible. they have more individuality. I mean, like, the protectors are like titles, and then... Other than Skull Grinder, the other Skull villains are horde enemies, so maybe they're like individual creatures like Kitongu. I mean, not Skull Slicer. Yeah, not Skull, skull Slicer. Basher. Or Skull Basher. Oh, fact, wait, only really? Warrior Basher's an individual too? Yeah, yeah. He, what's the explanation? The only, for that? the only horde enemies are Warrior and Scorpio, and Scorpio's a Rahi from what we're to understand. Alright. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Th- this just seems really weird. It contradicts everything that we have come to understand about their marketing scheme. Well, you could. I don't know, maybe. Not they, really. Not really. Per it se. Contradicts yeah, I don't their think it contradicts their their initial goals, but, you know, goals can change. I mean, I it's suppose. Close. I think. I think they just tried to market it and see how it would, you know, how kids and fans would deal with it. And when they saw that there weren't any confusion from younger kids and that fans really wanted it, they were like, all right, sure. Um, mm-hmm. I, do so we really know? wonder how they would if, measure that. Yeah, because, like, we don't really know, like, how sick, like, how would they even get that metric? How would they know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like they're they're confused they, or not by that. They, they, they tally know, up a message like, board. Kids posts. confusion. Like, you know, they had to pull. Like, right, were you kid, confused? Do you, right. you know all the names? The kids would be no. like, all right, let's tally that up, Mark. Because you also got to <laughs> keep in mind that for the average Joe fan, they don't even know the protector's names yet. Because we only yeah, know they them because the book are our names. Yeah. So, like, I don't think that has anything to do with it at all. Maybe um, they're, like, legendary Pokemon where they have, like, their own names because of how important they are to the culture of a culto. Uh, a culto. Wow. Maybe you should just stop talking. What? I mean, uh, sure, Legend- but even then that still doesn't, like, we're talking purely from a marketing standpoint, not a story-relevant standpoint. Yeah. 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 So, Story's okay, what's one not, thing. What's not harp on Lego for doing what we want? Well, we're not harping like, on them. <laughs> it's a I'm wonderful thing. We're just trying to, like, analyze their thought process. Yeah, I'm just kind of confused as to why they've gone back on it now, because they made the effort to not have have names before now we have names so it just seems like like what's going on well they could have did easily they, said uh, the I skull guess, grinder or did they explicitly I'll yeah they could have just said cult and say it's feedback and culta the actual name you well know, I'm not gonna say that but did yeah, they yeah. Ex- <clears throat> did they explicitly state anywhere that they were avoiding marketing them with names or is that just something we've kind of come to I mean, assume not really I no I no. think they I think they said that at uh, NYCC yeah, that I I believe they said that they were trying to limit the amount of complicated terminology yeah. from Gen One. Because I I specifically recall asking this question. I was like, so are we going to be getting any like specialized terms like drug or anything? And they're like, we're trying to avoid that. I mean, that speaks. Yeah. Well, that speaks I guess that to, doesn't like, necessarily yeah, cover terminology. names. Yeah, what Ben said. Yeah, I guess, but it's just I don't know. It's like. If that's the case, why didn't we just get names for the protectors right out the gate then? Like, well, that's what I was going bother? for is, yeah. I mean, well. this is probably a long shot, but is it possible that by the time they actually got the 
proper names for these characters that the marketing or whatever you want to call it had already been done and finished. So they didn't. I, so they couldn't put them on boxes. I doubt it detectors. because we already know that they've been working on this line for like three years before it was even released. Yeah, like, I'm just they, saying, they've been no, working on this for a while. So like. They would. Priority. They would surely would have the names by now. Well, what's also be fair though? They initially Lego did not have as much faith in Bionic. Well, I don't know how to say this. This is a hundred percent true. But we do know that they didn't give Bionicle its own TV show, and that Bionic had a smaller marketing budget initially. So they were very cautious at first when they were doing Bionic. Yeah, they probably wanted uh, to test the You can see that by like you know, I right? Mean, you know, like the well, there's a lot of budgetary really constraints. Do we have? Have. Do we some... absolutely know that was caution, though? Could it just be the fact that they literally just did not Look, have that big of a budget to work with because here our factory so- sold so poorly? I think besides what we vaguely heard from NYCC, everything that we're talking about right here ah, now is just presumption. Also, yeah, true, I mean yeah. that's basically all of our discussions regarding Bionicle, though. It's I know, but this yeah, I feel like we're like trying to get If we had a direct line, okay, now we got a circle saying, "What if? They just what if like is doing this? What if like is doing whatever? That? We don't know." Yeah, you're right, but it's like if we had a direct line to somebody in a Greg-esque role, maybe somebody in the higher up development chain that we could ask questions like this, it would yeah. be easier. But we don't, so we just kind of have to speculate and go off what we have. I, I guess, mean, to be but fair, like, it, it wouldn't be as entertaining if we already had the answers. Also true. There's to no be honest, I'm, discussion. We'd just be like, oh, hey, can you answer this? Yeah, sure. To oh, be okay. honest, I'm more interested <laughs> in what the heck these creatures are as, yeah, th- rather than why they have names. Of, <laughs> there's a lot of theories going around. common thing is that... the t- Well, a couple things. One, A common theory is that the Toa must tame the creatures and save them from the evil hunter. <laughs> Not the, <laughs> I can hear Kai's sigh. <laughs> <laughs> so you it's kind of like that one sheet on the line where they like, have to get... If, if Bionicle turns into freaking, like, Avatar... Yeah, I was just you guys, thinking... You guys think yeah. Umarak is going to be the uh. next witch doctor in all aspects? Uh, he'll yeah. probably... He's probably going to take up the lost mantle for this wave, yeah. By the way, I'm glad he's 20 bucks instead of 15. I mean, yeah, there's same. some more meat to the villain. <laughs> more he meat. He be a decent set. <laughs> more unless, meat. unless he's another skull villain. <laughs> I was going to say... <laughs> oh... I wonder if they're gonna continue that the skull theme. I really hope not. Make it, like, darker and I I, I uh, hope not. I would say I hope not, but I don't. I mean, like, I don't really know how they would do non skull themed villains just yet without it feeling really random and contrived and out of nowhere. I mean, yeah, I guess that's I, true. I still think that's what they're gonna do because I actually like the skull theme that we have right now. It feels very when you think of skulls and you think of Bionicle, Bionicle really goes through that whole tribal feel, or at least it did in Generation 1 during the beginning. Skulls, it kind of gives off that feeling just a little. Oh, yeah. agreed. I, well, I love it, but like, I think it, we should, yeah. usually they should probably I stop like it, before but they run it into the ground. Yeah. You it's could argue that ways. animals are also part of a quite a tribe culture, like the spirit well, animals. Yeah, yeah it is. What, what, like if, that. Is. So, what if it is yeah. like kind of like what Mesa was talking about, and Lego's trying to Evoke this sort of um, this theme of saving the animals. <laughs> all the, that's why they gave all the animals names so that you can actually feel for them Swear and identify God. with them. And I, I, I'm calling it right now. There's them. going to be a lion-esque <laughs> creature, but it's going to be made out of brittle lime green parts. Oh, <laughs> I identify as an ash bear. Cool. Oh my so God. God. I identify as a gucko bird. But these these creatures are all kin. animals that the Toa have to protect <laughs> from the Umarak, the hunter. Dentist. And Umarak, Umarak is this guy that just goes around hunting down these animals. He's like he's like the Steve Irwin of Okoto. He's like, he like runs his reality show. He's, he's like, like oh, Umarak killed the, killed the Umarak. Cecil of Okoto, and now he's yeah. on the run. <laughs> I made that oh. joke. No one listened to me. No. <laughs> That's probably well, because maybe it was your delivery. Are, uh, it just wasn't no, good enough. Mind. I'm gonna get flack for that. Oh no! No, say it. Say no, it. No, say no, it. no. I know where this is say going. It. You put be on quiet. the flak jacket before you, you say be it. quiet from the flak. The flak jacket. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, here's here's the most upsetting thing DC about Cecil. You can the even flak. cook him afterwards. Oh, <laughs> uh, he shut up. Did someone just drop a glass? Is that like something? Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> you be quiet. Listen, they, I mean, Should, I'm no, just saying, if you're gonna no. kill something, you better, might as well eat it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, fair, yeah, right. Right. Fair, fair enough, but I mean, from that. let's be honest. The worst part about loss is that they like didn't any, cook him. What, yeah, if, what if it was like a law that anything you killed, you had to eat? 
That would be Ew. Oh my god, the wars would be terrible. Kahi jumps to evil people. Viper's like, that sort of rule. What are we doing? We were just talking about Bionica. What the heck are you guys doing? Lord of Bug Spider. Well, you see, that's just it. Is they tame the animals and then they eat the animals and they get the power of the animals. They unify with the animals. Oh wow, yeah, they eat them, huh? By the way, I'll be honest. When we first heard that, like the Tobo were called Unifiers, I thought that was Uniters. Dumb. But when we got that they were actually called Uniters and that was the correct translation, oh. I miss Unifiers. Wait, you thought Unifier was dumb? Oh, I actually yeah, really like Unifier. It said it yeah. I think they both sound lousy. Uniter is far worse. I like Uniter better. No, I like Uniter way better Unifier than Unifier. Unifier sounds so stupid and contrived. I really, I really like, like Unifier. Whenever I, really I hear, like whenever I hear Uniter, all I think of is Igniter. Yeah. And that's not like a joke. No, all, that's what all comes I to think my of mind. Is Kibira. <laughs> it's I mean, like a dumb thing. Then again, Uniter. they sound fairly exotic. They sound very Bionicle esque. They're English words, sure, but, you know. I, I just think. feel like Unifier Uniter. just sounds like a pretty cool title for the tone. I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, cool. I don't have a problem with either of them, honestly. It sounds too they clumsy don't. to me. I, I, yeah, I, I do not like Unifier as much as I like uh, Uniter. Uni I think Uniter is much cleaner than Unifier. Meh. Yeah. Meh. I wonder what these Meh. new ones Unifier are like. sounds like a, like a unibrow. <laughs> I'm going to give you a <laughs> no, gross like... meh. I'm gonna, oh, that was here's sickly. That's, that's, how much, that's how much I disagree uh, with you. you I've broached this with LJ, and right. I'm gonna say it to all of you now. Bra I'm not saying it's gonna happen with absolute certainty, because I don't know. But uh, brace yourself Thank for the you. possibility that the Toa may use the same masks. Yes, oh, and no. actually, no. I personally, I would want them to. I don't have I any don't issue with these to. masks. You and would? I yeah, because I would. worry. I really worry because every single time we get a second iteration of masks, especially with Bionicle, they they're always, always worse. <laughs> especially with like, the new yes, but it's just wait, what? Like, I don't, like, why I don't you want to collect okay. the same mask for the yeah, next here's two the thing. years. Yeah. They might yeah, be, they agree. might be worse. They also sure, might be better. I mean, I, I, think new the, masks. I thought the Miru Nuva yeah. was a yeah, lot better than the original Miru. I just want more masks. Right. Well, yeah, you see, like, it, I, I don't know. I like these masks. I don't mind us sticking with the same masks. I, I, at I, the very I, least, okay, if they I, do it, like, logic, because we can get the if old we got masks. the old one masks back instead of these ones. I've got four different versions of the freaking Howl. I don't need more of them. <laughs> well, it's, okay, like, I, it's a double-edged sword because on the one hand, yeah, masks are important, but if they pull like a Hero Factory breakout scenario where they give everybody the same mask, that does free up the budget no, hey, for more up. new parts. Clarify, Var. You mean you have four types Look, of the 2015 how? Not you just have four because there are four different versions of the how, like how, how, yeah, no, how. I mean, Mystica. I've got like four different versions of the 2015 how. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Right. If the we get the trans same red one, two exact. trans transparent ones, another one fire one, one golden one. I'm sure there's gonna be more. What's up, Ben? If we get the okay. same masks this, in the same exact molds, fine. But I want recolors. <laughs> yeah, that'd yeah. be cool. Yeah. See, I'm but fine with recolors. Because if I got these in like silver, oh my goodness. See, that I find that Ugh. more justifiable <laughs> than just having the same mask. Like, Don't even talk about silver. How about like no, I do not want silver. These masks <laughs> would look really good in silver, honestly. They would, they would look, uh, they would be yeah, really like easy silver. to use in mocks too. Uh, uh, okay, here's the thing. I'm work? all for the same mask. I, I, I do want to clarify, however, I'm not against new masks. I don't have a lot of faith that they'll be better, but I'm not against it. I'm yeah, totally you are. That's why you parts, said they shouldn't do it. Like, yeah, I'd, I'd rather, rather have new feet than I would new masks. That's just a personal opinion. Okay, however, I, I will say this: if they're so going to use the same, so your personal opinion is that you're against it. If they're gonna use the same mask, it, they better be different colors. If they're the same color, defeats the point. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Same color. It's like the same. Well, like what other color scenario. would they be? So fully or transparent. Or secondary. But that would kind of. Oh my god, I would hate fully transparent. Masks. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't want. <laughs> you guys them to be are just fully... giving me ideas that I just can't stand. If they're fully <laughs> transparent, then that def it, it it makes it less special to have transparent pieces. Yeah. It would also kind of make the golly mask go rip in peace. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, but okay. then that defeats the point of going to the inside tour. And they've said they're not going to sell yeah. that mask yeah, anywhere outside the, in the inside tour. Yeah, look on the bright side, when this doesn't end up happening, we'll have braced ourselves Listen, for the I want worst. a different mask. None of the alternatives you've presented so far sound like oh, better yeah. alternatives. I'll say, I'll say mine getting the same mask, mask. meant that we get other or, parts. Or, or what if we get, like, the Mechu colors again? 
No. See, <laughs> once again, another bad idea. Wouldn't you want That's a Metru just Red? worse than just giving us a new mask. Wouldn't you want a Metru Red mask of no, fire? No, I wouldn't. I, I went, hate Metru Red. I wouldn't mind a Metru Red mask of fire. I, I, I really hated all the Metru colors. Metru I don't want any more Metru colors. Yeah, no, I, I can't say the Metru colors would be uh, interesting. Okay, I, yeah, yeah, like, I actually don't like the Metru colors, ideas. but I think some of these masks... All right, we will, like, why can't we just have new masks? We, we will we, get we the Metru this. colors again at some point. They I just want recolors of these masks. They've been bringing back Metru Green and Metru Blue and Metru Red for the last few years, so it's only a matter of time until <laughs> we get Metru this red. stuff back. Metru Red, I need Metru Red, I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's probably not going to happen. We'll probably get new masks. And now we've braced ourselves yeah. for the worst, so... We better get new masks. What? I don't even care if they're worst designs. It doesn't matter. I just want different masks. Yeah, at least they're different designs. Yeah, I want variations, Yeah, I want too. something new Meh. that I can like. I want what something if they're blended that kind of looks enough like a Calyx so I can be like, oh, this is my 2015 right. mask, as opposed to, as like... As long... Like, my only thing that I would want, or that I would... It would need to match to fulfill my, my desires <laughs> is that it at least resembles... The last mask in yeah. some way. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's all I care itself. about. It's like, that was going to be my question. As I can look is... at the mask and tell that that's still Tahu, I'm fine. Yeah, it's like the whole 09. Well, not actually, it wasn't 09, it was 08. Like yeah. the Tahu. Yeah. Tahu's mask looks nothing like the 01 or 02 mask. Yeah, not only were those designs for mask awful, but they just did not. Look they weren't like awful. Like, Tahu was they a were ninja. Awful. Like, the Fentoka were fine, except for Pohatu. <laughs> Yeah, well, I wasn't talking... Well, I mean, yeah, I guess, sure, I wasn't really talking about the Fentoka, I meant the Mystica. I don't okay. even think the Mystica masks were that I, I bad. Like, they yeah, just I, I, liked, that I liked Tahu Mystica's masks. I loved masks. the Picari. No, they were that bad. Yeah, no, I, I didn't think legit. they were bad, I just didn't think they were good for those Toa. Yeah. They were bad. Nah, I, I, I disagree. Bad, I don't think they were But bad. Tahu and Onuo's were pretty cool. I yeah, they, they were both really Honestly, I think Gali was the three of those masks were incredibly ugly. I think Gali was the only offender. masks, so... Yeah, the Unica masks were pretty ugly as well, but I do like those more. I, yeah, I, the Unica I disagree. masks were freaky. <laughs> There's a double-edged sword to these Toa, because they're the same price point as the 2015 ones, so like the $20 ones are still 20 bucks, and the $15 ones are still 15 and that's good for consistency's sake, and like if you had changed the sizes, it would have messed with stuff. So I, don't, I see why they didn't do that, but I wouldn't have minded some variety like a twenty dollar Pohatu and a fifteen dollar Tahu. Mm. Yeah, now everyone's gonna that. be stuck in their small, uninteresting brackets forever. What, what does I don't worry mind that. me about it just, it's consistent that way. I don't care. I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What does worry? Like, it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense, at least to me, for like Pohatu to be the smallest set one year and then suddenly be the biggest yeah. set the next year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Put glad it's not a hero factor something? situation where we're getting these like XLs, or at least not evidently. So far. I don't want XLs. And I hope it doesn't become that. I would. But I don't want XLs, but I think there's enough fl variety I think they can do XL in the current be price point. Cool. Um, Making like, like, so like in the animations, they're all pretty way. much the same size except Onua. I think they could get away with making the sets different sizes without breaking I mean, they're all pretty much the same size in set form, too. Yeah. Pretty Exactly. That's why they could get away with it. It's just like Kopaka and I, see, I, don't, I don't think it's necessary, though. Because, like, in HF, there was such a massive size gap when they, me when they messed with things. It was very evident. But I, yeah, I know. I, I just don't, I don't think it's necessary to have to move them from different I'm, brackets. I'm I think just it's really wondering I don't think that variation gonna is going like. to really warrant it, and I think it makes sense to just keep them as at a consistent size. And I hope they bring enough new stuff to the table for poor Pohatu. What? What if? I mean, like, crowd. of course they'll they'll bring new stuff to the table. I'm sure we'll get new pieces and stuff. No, no. What if the reason they're the same price bracket is because it's the exact same set, but the mask is a different mold? <laughs> the mask is different. Some armor pieces yeah. are switched out but for newer ones. But everything else is the same. <laughs> no, that's what, I was, no, gonna, like, that's what I was going to bring up, too. I was like, I really hope that these aren't just going to be the same sets with a few things swapped out. I just don't know what they're going to do. Like, the 2015 sets are like basically perfect. What can they make? I they know, they started with? off way too strong. I don't know what they're going to do to make it better. <laughs> well, hey, well, I they mean, don't hey, have to well, have designers. The same designers who made the 2015 sets are probably working on the new Bionicle sets. I mean, like, I mean so. like, I'm sure these sets have also been in, in the works I think, uh, for a while, I'm too. sure I've mentioned this before, but I, I think uh, one thing that they could definitely do to to step over the sets we got is just improve on some of the, uh, some of the flaws that we have found with the sets already, like, like Tahu's legs. 
being so also neck. lame. Also true. Yeah, yeah. Also yeah. Lee short was neck. neck as well. Yeah. Like, uh, if, Lee was like we'll probably see some really nice looking leg uh, plates or something for Tahu or or uh, we'll, we'll get nice. like... I'll tell you what they could improve. Make a torso without the stupid open ball joints. Or that. that would be or thing. that. They're probably going to come out with like a mold that doesn't have the stupid ball joints in that area. So mm. they don't stick out. What if we get like a, a a set that has just got like the craziest amount of articulation, like some something imported straight from Japan, kind of an articulation? Yeah, like, oh, like, yeah. Oh. Like, kind of feel, like a freaking hot toy, like, like torsos thing? that can like shimmy like, and not even sh- Japan, like shift. South Korea. Yeah, you can like make what Ruby animations out of them. They're literally that'd nice. be the coolest thing. <laughs> what if we got like so Maxillos great. regular set? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, basically. Yes. Oh, man. oh, the shoulders. Yeah, yeah that would be, be so see, cool. that would be like XL sets I could get behind. They're just high. They're, they cost more. They're like maybe no way actually. Yeah, oh, fingers and forty dollars. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, they have so much articulation more for a better set. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You get more right. for what you pay for, so right. that's fair. Yeah, However, that will never neck happen. articulation. It won't oh happen my god, the juice is still ten bucks. I would love some proper <laughs> neck articulation. Oh, that'd be so cool. But it's not. I happening. mean, we have <laughs> proper neck articulation in a, a very large. Uh, <laughs> Tahu would like a word with you. Yeah, I, I know. So neck to articulate. I'm, not, I'm not saying all of them have proper neck articulation, just a good majority of it's them. It's a flaw with the stupid chest armor they use. And that's another thing. I wonder, gonna, the I wonder if they're going to come out with new... With some of them. I wonder if they're going to come out with the same chest plate molds, but with uh, different prints. Or, or just new molds entirely. I really hope I it's the I actually feel like the problem is with the head. I feel like the neck piece is just too short. It is. It's a dual head. problem, but like this was a problem that HF had too. With uh, it's a compatibility problem, really, because of the yeah they designed the superhero chest primarily to work with ultra builds that had different style, like the big blocky head sockets, and it right. has a little bit of trouble adapting to regular figures. Yeah. So, what if for these new Toa they brought back their original color schemes? Like Liwa wasn't. The green lantern green and key orange. She was green lantern green and and lime. Or you mean matte green or or, uh, or solid orange? Okay. All those all those revamps that I see that like give take away Onua's gold and give him silver, and they take away Lima's key orange and they give him lime. It just makes me so happy. The sets are how they are. Yeah, they, they look all like look trash. So, I hate it. They, I hate they the all look so bland. I hate the way it looks. Yeah. I see. I I I. I it's weird because like when the sets first came out, I thought the color schemes were really weird. I know. <laughs> yeah. But no. when I see people change the color scheme back to how it should be. It doesn't look. Yeah, right they look at so all. bland. It looks really bad. The only right. one that I would be okay with them changing is maybe give Kopaka a little less gold. Not a lot, but a little. He has a little much. I yeah, think. maybe yeah, either give him just much. gold or just silver. I don't think he needs both silver and gold. Uh, yeah, like that remember, stupid silver chest plate. <laughs> remember back when the prelims were coming out and we saw Kopaka <laughs> and we were like, oh yeah, a white <laughs> torso, he's so perfect. Isn't it? And yeah, I remember. I don't remember ever thinking any of and those prelims they, looked perfect. Those prelims, those were the good. I'm still looking forward to the prelims. The only th- we're going to get them next month, probably. The only thing about those month. prelims really? that I, I liked was the I super excited about the prelims. I only liked wow. the Howe. That was the only thing that I didn't like all that much. You've really? You I don't guys. like the Howe at all. No, I, I, was, I wasn't big on the prototype Howe. I'm glad they did what they did with it. Like, I thought the Howe looked fine. Yeah, I, I really, really liked, liked the Howe. You know what? I remember like, that was like the one thing that we were all super excited about because it actually looked like Tahu and, and like he actually had a howl. And, and then that was the one thing we yeah. all got crazy about when they ended up changing it. Yeah, but yeah. let's be real here. The the one they changed it to looks so much better. Yeah, it so? looks fantastic. I think so. I like, feel like honestly, would going be on back a and looking at the one even we were, level. I don't know, dude. I I was one of the people that was like, oh my god, this new howl looks awful in comparison. But it really grew on me now that I've had the set for so long. This new howl is pretty awesome. Yeah, I really like it. No, I, I, I the only I totally agree. that I would really do good, to change it like to the make other it one better, been just about as good too. To make it better, I would have done your modifications that you did a long time ago, where you closed up the the gaps in the back and gave him a third vent on the cheeks. Oh yeah, yeah. That to makes make it look a bit, bit more better. original, to, or but. to the original design. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, one of the prelim changes I'm glad they made was Galley's Mask. Because originally it looked very... Uh, Canny Valley-ish. 
Uncanny Mimic. Valley. What the heck? <laughs> oh, sorry. Uncanny Valley. Fudge. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, it looked very Canny Valley-ish. You can't <laughs> see it. Oh, that was some form of franchise that I had no clue about. Like, is that an anime what? or something? What? Yeah, 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 that's the name of the episode. Canny Valley-ish Mask of Water. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Valley. Come anyway. on, LJ. English. <laughs> L to use it. I'm sorry. I mean, I apologize. But no, I thought that the mask of you water looked mate? very, very <laughs> humanoid. Like it had a mouth and it had these weird. It was very organic. I think I'm it was a perspective it thing. It I think it's identical. I don't, yeah, I don't actually think the mask changed. I think it's still the same design. Yeah. It, there was some difference that I remember. Like uh, There the, might be the minor blue differences because I know Lee was mask. It did change a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, the chin. They changed the chin. Yeah, and like well, I, the I like Lee's mask. I think Lee's mask is pretty cool. I, I wish like all the mask. Really, I just like I said before in the last like few episodes, the only one I don't really like is the Kakama. Or Agreed. Mask. Kakama is bleh. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be really weird because we're gonna have to like start referring to it by like. Pohatu's mask and not the Kakama because new Binacle fans will have no clue what we're talking about. I'm never changing. They'll absorb. Yeah, no. But you know, like, there's the there's Mask of Powers now. I guess we call it the Mask of Speed. No. no if it is it the Mask of Speed. It's the Mask of Stone, the Mask of, speed, mask of Fire. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Mask yeah. of Stone. Until the Mask of Speed Maybe. actually exists in G2, we gotta call it that. Maybe that'll be next year's mask. Like, ne- the next year they get I'm their saying, power would... masks. I, I really hope so. Yeah, they might get second. Because I mean, powers. we do we do know there is such a thing as the mask. I love looking the mask at these masks, but I hate the idea of just not referring to them and their proper terms, or just Kopaka calling the new Hao, I guess the mask. Kopaka and Tahu's rivalry can continue when Tahu gets his mask of shielding, because he'll be like, "My bubble shield is better. No, mine is better." <laughs> 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 yeah, but no, I, I think these masks are great. My big thing is that we don't know what the beans they do. Like, yeah, do we I mean, know if they allow the Toa yeah, exactly. elemental that powers? Really bugs or do I mean, the gold masks Mask do powers that? have always been kind of vague, though. Like, we had no clue what the golden mask in 01 did. It yeah, that is true. The- but yes, the implication is that the masks give them their ele- elemental powers, and without them, they cannot use them. Or at least Wait, they're not the as golden powerful. ones or the normal ones? The normal ones give them their powers, because they're mask of fire, mask of jungle, mask of water. Which is the golden ones amplify it. Yeah. Yeah, the golden... That's, That's basically what we're to understand. So it's like... Because, like, when Liwa got his mask, spoiler alert, ripped off in episode two of the animation. Yeah, that really bugs me, because when you look at Kapaka's mask, which was the uh, the mask of X-ray vision, it looked like it would be a mask of X-ray vision just based on its design, but you look at it now, and it's being referred to as the mask of ice, it's like, well, what? There's what? a funny line about that in the book, but I won't spoil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even then, though, do you really x-ray things with a telescope? No, the mass powers were stupid. Oh, Let's get that out of the way. I, no, I water breathing, x-ray vision, levitation, yeah, in hindsight, they're all a, really a... dumb. Except the Akame Trio, or however you pronounce it. I thought Mask yeah. of Shielding was a good one. And Mask yeah, of Yeah, that, those three are good. good. Speed, Strength, well, okay. Yeah, Mask of Speed and Strength are pretty What's useful. wrong with Levitation? Levitation, levitation. it's like... Levitation is made irrelevant. It's a Toa Water of Air. Water is the stupidest, and then x ray so Okay, no, okay. Whatever. A Toa of no. Air shouldn't need a Mask of Levitation. And a Toa of Water shouldn't need a mask of water breathing. <laughs> that, the thing that gets me is that they should have made it a mask of just no breathing okay. whatsoever. Like, it just, it breathes for you. That, that, That's, again, that should okay, be the okay. point of that mask. You could go in space, you could go underwater, Better yet, you could be the ground. <laughs> What is the mask of breathing? No, I'm just saying that like it's like an ox- it's like a one of those oxygenators. No, I know you know, that. That's the but mask I'm like, has anyone ever asked out. Greg? Like, the, I assume the, I assume we have. That's kind of an obvious question. The Toa do need to breathe in the MU. Yes. Yeah, they can, they can drown. Can. Yeah. So yes, and, uh, they need to breathe. What was that, Takuma? That's why the, the Mari, like when they are transformed, they are transformed to sea breathing cre- creatures. Yeah, because in, in the comic breathing, they tried to say they tried to go underwater to get it. Well, Jala did, and he couldn't because he <laughs> ran out of breath. So was like, I can't do it. Okay, yeah, that's that brings up one of my problems with G one. I don't think that the mask of water breathing is stupid G-wan. because <laughs> Toa water should automatically be able to. I disagree with that. But how long can these thing can these Toa and Matoran hold their breath? Because it seems like an absurdly long time, actually. But then in the comics and stuff, it seems nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, they use the shoot systems to get around 
which are literally filled with liquid protodermis, so they have to hold their breath for the whole ride. Yeah, no, that, good question. That entire really good thing point, is kind actually. of. It's <laughs> like yeah. I don't disagree. I don't think all the toilet water should automatically be able to breathe water, but. Is the mask of water breathing really necessary? Because it seems to me like they should be able to hold their breath for a really long time anyway. But then when you actually yeah, look at things do. like in like the books and the comics, the... at the same time, it's like Lewa going for his for his mask of speed in the comic. Huh? Oh, I you ran said out of breath. Lewa. You cretin! You're fine! <laughs> actually, <laughs> that, that, that is the here. proper way to say it, but anyway. Like, no, it's no, Lewa. It, it, maybe it's the proper way to say it in, like, the, in Denmark, but Either uh, way, or in general, I wonder um, <laughs> what's the point of water breathing if it seems like they can actually hold their breath for a long time. You bring up a I mean, good no point. idea. There's no point to it. I it's stupid. The reason that <laughs> they had the mask, like, there. the the reason that the respective Toa of their element had that certain mask, wasn't necessarily so that they could be unique or have a mask power that was different from their element, but it was just a reason to give the other Toa around them masks of their element. So when they looked for those masks, oh hey, now I have your mask. Oh hey, now I have your mask. Now I don't need you to be around here. Hmm. Fair enough, Which I completely defaults the point of Unity. Well, but then they, they, they <laughs> went ahead and they fixed that in uh, 2002 with the Nuva. They could share their mask powers. Oh yeah, that was a thing. Huh? Oh, I yeah. forgot about that. Oh, yeah, could, that was part of the... Yeah, yeah, that was the entire point Actually, of the I Nuva masks. About that. that was when, when it, like, they not only had parts. enhanced versions of the Mata masks, but they could share them around with people, even mm -hmm. Matoran, in their vicinity. Yeah. That was one of the things that was really cool. Oh, that is <laughs> yeah. cool. I actually didn't know that. It's pretty nifty. Yeah, and then, yeah, like uh, LJ said, they were even better because, like, uh... It just Kama sucks that they were so ugly. Some... Uh, it does indeed. I, I like them. So, which ones? <laughs> Most of them. Uh, well, which yeah. ones? There's only Probably six of them. Yeah, be, be I mean, specific which one did you not Kuma? like? I question the Bakari and the Akaku. The Cow Cow. Um, I honestly I think the Akaku uh, Nuva is the best looking one. Yeah, I thought that was the best, to be honest. I enjoyed the Akaku and the Miru. I was kind and of half, and half on the How, and I just like the Miru the was great, the Kakama was great, the How was great. I hate the I Kakama liked, was garba. I, I hate the I Kakama like the... Nuva. That, that looks so ugly. I like the Kakama Nuva. Looks like a like melted Nuva. potato. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't like the Pikari Nuva or the Miru Nuva. I don't like the Pikari. It's too big. I love the Miru Nuva. Yeah. It's way better than the original. I don't like the how I, Nuva. I feel like that, like they just stuffed the original how in a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't like uh, the mirror Nuva. They gave him teeth. It was weird. They did. Actually, no. I like the how Nuva. Those do not even look like teeth. They totally look like teeth. They totally. Uh, I, see I, what I, I, like, I can from. see the teeth. Yeah. I know what he's talking about, but they don't look at all like teeth. Man, I'm looking back. Like how they they kind of so look like teeth. Yeah, they at do. least the how Nuva. When I look at it, it kind of resembles. The original was. Yeah, slightly. I'll give it that. I think. It, ah, um, I just don't like the texture. But it still looks I think awful. it's way too big. That was always my thing. With all that. of the Nuva masks Actually, are way yeah, too big. Yeah, that was my thing with all of them. They're way. They're all way too big. They're, yeah. The, the masks in general were really big. That that was actually one thing that surprised me when I recently, or not recently, but like a year ago, I rebought <laughs> the Toamata. Um, because I I haven't had them since I was like a kid. And when I first got them, I was super, super surprised at the weird proportions of them. Their heads are huge, and their bodies are so tiny. Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah. especially, like, after, like, having the Anika for so long and seeing their proportions, like, wow, the proportions have changed. Yeah. We were shocked at how the Skull oh, Villain yeah. masks are so small. It's yeah, Skull Villain masks are really small. Yeah. yeah. It's like they've, they've which, gained more thing. realistic, like, proportions, because even the Toamata are kind of disproportionate. But then again, they are robots, so it doesn't really, really matter. The, the only mask mm -hmm. that was properly proportionate from the O1 series was the Akaku. Yeah, I could see why you'd say that. It's because it's a small one. Kakama is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, the Kakama did a good job, too. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well... I am, I'm actually kind of surprised, guys. What? Hmm? We spent the majority of this hour actually discussing Bionicle. Yeah, oh, I know. So we, I we moved out. recently. Yeah. <laughs> we, we had other stuff. We had, like, the So let's the talk about Takanuva. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I will say, on air, uh, that was fake. The guy who made Taka Master of Light came out and said it was fake. 
And I was wrong. It actually was not a Breeze Brain Attack helmet. It was a custom sculpt. So I yeah. applaud you for your creativity. Well, it was like a, a custom Photoshop. but Custom yeah. sculpt Photoshop, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like he didn't like sculpt out a mask to take a picture. Oh, guys, do you also hear? Uh, uh... We also faked all those Amazon listings to get oh, people to watch it. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, we faked yeah, them we and then we took that. them down. Just like how we're yeah, the we ones who made them, the talk in Master of Light fake, too. <laughs> and we're the ones right, that... Exactly. Right, remember, the guys. Leaks and remember, we led people astray. The original yeah, you people need leaks. to stop blaming us for everything, man. Yeah, I know. We also we also faked the original 2015. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You we made the good. sets too, just as a joke. People that we're that talented that to go through the trouble of actually doing all that. Come on, people assume that I care enough to try and trick yeah, people. Yeah, we are the terror. Let's be honest. It's all a ploy. Base. It's an excuse to not do Biocraft. Uh, <laughs> Biocraft. <laughs> what about on air? Meso said on air was fake. Remember? They did. Yeah. It's really off air. Our secret project. Wow, LJ, are you that quick a way to get away from your failure? Uh, on air, guys. Remember, on air, <laughs> it's still not done. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's coming out sooner than Biocraft. Am I right? <laughs> so, well, sure I don't know why we yet. keep on doing this. We keep on bringing these projects up and like, man. So Operation time to Winter Solstice, well, we brought guys. Up Biocraft, and you felt the need Hashtag to bring Winter up Winter Solstice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so TTV THM, guys. When are we making a new episode? <laughs> Never. Uh, we have our recording Neighbor. session plan for uh, the old ones THM. public up right now. Oh no, Takuma! We have so, something to show you later. But no, anyway. Oh, so on show. eBay oh, today, God, when's that coming back? <laughs> Episode one of Bionicle season. No one ever said it was coming back. Oh, we haven't Biocraft. talked about that yet. So how? What did everybody think of that? What? Episode one of season two came out in English. Uh, cool, and we haven't talked about it in Russian yet. Oh, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, one. it's cool. I Time liked to it. make another I, I dub. It was I it's not like, it. it's not like <laughs> much really <laughs> happened. Yeah, it's, it was. Yeah, my, my thoughts on it are my thoughts pretty much in all of season one. It was cool. The conflict's cool. The characters are funny. There the was di- no dialogue. sense of urgency. <laughs> The dialogue is stilted, and the voice acting because it's okay, a minute yeah, and a half long. To fine, Kuma. give it some so. breaks, okay? But okay. is it really? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll say this. LJ is like, whenever I mentioned how the dialogue was a little odd, or like the voice acting is a little odd, LJ was like, "It's fine." Does it really not perturb you the whole one voice acting thing? Does it not take you no, out of it not, at all? Not, no, I'm honestly, honestly, the, the one voice, I, I honestly, one hundred percent, do not have any issue with the one voice actor thing. Originally, yeah, it was a bit jarring. However, if I look at it at the mindset, it's a guy telling a story to his like child protector. I don't care. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah that's honestly, honestly, that, that I, perspective too. changed a lot for me. Honestly, I really don't care yeah. either. Yeah, yeah I, that's I, the I, only I mean, way I can look job. at it. I, I, I did at the beginning, but ever since finding that perspective, of, oh, it's somebody telling this story. Then that makes yeah. sense to me. He differentiates you know, between the characters perfectly well. I know who's yeah. talking. They sound like distinct voices. Right. I mean, that's the now only that perspective I know that you can context, look at it in to make it seem okay. But if I could have chosen a show with multiple voice actors or that perspective, I would choose multiple voice I actors. I mean, sure, anytime. but the, I don't. Okay, I, this I, isn't I, like a stylistic change that Lego did, and like it's better than the alternative. It's just what we have, and we. Have I don't to, really feel like criticizing something for what I would have liked to have seen. Also true. Because it, it's not going to happen. So it's just still, enjoy it It's for still it is. legitimate flaw. It's like, I'll do it. like, oh, you you just have high standards, mess up. See, no, I don't, I don't, think, I it's think, I don't think it's a flaw. I don't think it's a flaw. It was an intentional yeah. choice. No, no, okay, no, no, no. I will, I will say this, not with absolute certainty, but I think that it was more of a budgetary concern than and that, yeah, that contradicts what Merlin Mann said, though, what? doesn't it? No, I think he kind no, of said no. that. No, the budget was that they only were able to get one voice actor. Okay. Right. Yeah, but so they, this they isn't like cho- something they said, this is our creative vision for Bionicle 2015. Right. But they chose to go with the route of, this is a person telling a story because yes. of that budgetary constraint. Truth. Well, and so, that, I that, still, so regardless, it's still a stylistic choice that they went with. And I right. think it's fine. I think it's fine. I don't care. I listen to audiobooks all the time. I'm used to one voice actor yeah. reading all the dialogue for all the characters. I, I just listened to The Martian, and man, that guy does a great amount of voices. And I honestly, like, knowing the context in which the animations are presented now, honestly, doesn't phase me as much. Yeah, I, I literally do not care yeah. one bit. When I, I think when it's fine. When someone's reading out a story to me, like in an audiobook or, or something like the Binacle episodes, I'd find it more jarring if there were different voice actors, because it would be a different, completely different voice every time. So just be like, what is there? Other people there behind him reading the story, and they're just if like, it was ready an to. 
book like well, presentation, yeah. If, if, yeah, but this was Bionicle the audio book, I would be like, yeah, I agree with you, but this is Bionicle the web series. Well, see, it's still, in it book technically format. is Bionicle the audio book, though. You've got the narrator who narrates everything out as if it was written on a book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's implied. No. But listen, I'm not going to get into that whole thing dialogue. again. I was just bringing it up. It's not only dialogue, it's, though. The, 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 the narrator part, literally narrates. For the most part, you don't. Not really. You don't. You don't hear him talking about he turns to this person, he said or she said. No, or... you, sure, you don't hear that, but you hear him narrate the background of the story. Right. It's so, and Listen to any episode. That's he how he narrates does it. it. As yeah. if he was reading a book. Yeah. That's and what I he pers- does. I personally think that He delivery... doesn't say, though, like, they spied the skull of it. I mean, he shouldn't really have yeah, to, I'm with, I'm with Takuma. That's, no, not, I mean, that's not book narration. That's, that's like the setting the scene. For... It's not, not like he's not reading narrated. a book. I'm just saying he's not really narrating like it's a book. Yeah, yeah. I see where you're coming from with that. It's not like a book. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, if I mean, they did like it in that way, though, that would not work well with the like, yeah, It's like the freaking I mean, Princess Bride. Like you're kind of okay, you guys in on that movie? Like, a weird point to make that I don't really think is relevant. I've already lost track of what it's I was It's like the Princess Bride. There's, there's, like, there's stuff that he narrates because, you know, that's part of the narration. But there's stuff that he shows because, you know, it's a visual medium that they're still telling this in. And he doesn't need to say everything that's going on on screen. That's kind of redundant. Right, exactly. He doesn't need, he doesn't need it, to the, say the Todd framework, who turned to look at Golly right. if Todd who turns and looks at Golly in the animation. Yeah, that's, like, right. there's a visual But he's still narrating it as but if yeah, it's a book. But he is yes, still narrating the book. in The Princess Bride, or, he's not is, doing all the it was voices. A book and that story. He's not doing all the voices in The Princess Bride, though, so I don't see how that logic holds. <laughs> Wait, what? What? You're comparing Princess it to the way he, Bride? I am, yeah. It's the way you're comparing the I'm narration comparing to the Princess Bride. narration and that. But that would only be relevant if the guy narrating The Princess Bride was also doing the voices for all the characters. Yeah. Uh, he does at some points. There's some points where he talks to the kid, and then the, like you know, he goes back, and the first line is said by him. And How many the times? Other lines are said by. It's like <laughs> oh, whenever they remember they okay. whenever they cut back and forth seen, from the kid. You guys you know? have seen Ant Man, right? No, uh, no, no. Nope. Wait, but yeah, it's not it's Ant Man. Oh okay. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah I know exactly. Yeah, Michael Pena. Exactly. That's all I have to say. Good guy, Michael Pena. Best part of that movie. But no, anyway, uh, yeah, this one. Episode two came moment. out in Russia, and I'm not going to talk about that all that much because we're running low on time. But uh, I haven't actually Lee watched it. Yeah, we'll talk about it next uh, time. Lee yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all I'll say. Lee was a, awesome. That's all what I'll guy. say. <laughs> Lee was a mook. That's all I'll say. He was awesome, Meso. <laughs> he was not emphasis awesome on was. Uh, I like yeah, to believe was. that he was a mook. What happens to him? <laughs> he dies. No, nothing at all, dude. Okay, let's look look at it this way. He brings back he got, the Borok. Can, can can I like talk about no. the details? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. no. you can't. Mar, keep up to date with stuff. <laughs> it's not even about me being up to date. It's no, you can't because we're already at the end of the episode. Yeah, oh yeah, God. we're done. Yeah, we come on, don't be such a. We'll talk about it when it comes out in English. Right? Yeah, we'll talk about show. it when it's actually out in English. There's no need to rush right now because it's in rush in. Uh, uh, oh no, uh, right, no rushing. I did no rushing because it's in. I didn't even mean to make that joke. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, all right, well. All right, yeah. So, pretty much time that we end this exciting episode of the TGV Podcast. Exciting. Thank you all very much for listening, and please be sure to share your comments on the 2016 wave of Bionicle and your hopes for the line on the TTV message boards at board.ttvpodcast.com. Also, feel free to check us out on vessel.com slash the TTV channel to get early access to all of our videos, including the TTV Podcast. And finally, if you want to buy a t-shirt... Check us out at store.tvpodcast.com. we got a bunch of cool designs, all for your purchasing pleasure, I guess, if that's a phrase. I mean, with that. I don't know, purchase it. Well, I guess there are some people that take pleasure out of purchasing things. I definitely love buying things for the sake of buying there are things. A lot of yeah, same. Do. Yeah. yeah so. I know. I feel good spending money. Same when I have Thank it. Thank you all very much for listening. Please be sure to like, favorite, rate, share, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next week. I am yep. Messadak. I'm Vernoran. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. I'm Venom. I'm Viper. I'm Takuma Nuva. See y'all next time for the next Woo-hoo! episode. Woohoo! Yeah! If you're watching this episode on YouTube, remember. Next week episode's behind. already on Vessel. It's already on Vessel. It right Vessel.com. Right com. You, 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 you would literally TV get right, right to the next episode if you're watching on YouTube. Yep. It's a freaking playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.